guys, welcome back to the scriptures. I'm Pamela. And I'm Keaton. And today we're going to read Genesis 12. Woo! <laughs> Bereshith 12 And Yahuwah said to Abram, Go yourself out of your land, from your relatives and from your father's house, to a land which I show you. And I shall make you a great nation, and Barak you, and make your name great, and you shall be Barakah. And I shall Barak those who Barak you, and curse him who curses you, and in you all the clans of the earth shall be Baruch. So Abram left, as Yahuwah had commanded him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the beings whom they had acquired in Haran. And they departed for the land of Canaan, and they came to the land of Canaan. And Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the terebinth tree of Moreh. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. And Yahuwah appeared to Abram and said, To your seed I give this land. And he built there an altar to Yahuwah, who had appeared to him. And from there he moved to the mountain east of Bethel. And he pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And he built there an altar to Yahuwah, and called on the name of Yahuwah. And Abram departed, continuing toward the Negeb. And a scarcity of food came to be in the land. And Abram went down to Mitzrayim to dwell there. For the scarcity of food was severe in the land. And it came to be, when he was close to entering Mitzrayim, that he said to Sarai his wife, See, I know that you are a lovely woman to look at, and it shall be, when the Mitzrites see you, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they shall kill me, but let you live. Please say you are my sister, so that it shall be well with me for your sake, and my life be spared because of you. And it came to be, when Abram came into Mitzrayim, that the Mitzrites saw the woman, that she was very lovely. And Pharaoh's officials saw her and praised her before Pharaoh. And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. And he treated Abram well for her sake. And he had sheep and cattle and male donkeys and male and female servants and female donkeys and camels. But Yahuwah plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why do you not inform me that she is your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? And so I was going to take her for my wife. Look, here is your wife. Take her and go. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. 